Hello guys, welcome back to CEBAX tutorial channel and this is our problem number 3 for method of superposition under chapter 6 ng strength of materials. But before we start to solve this problem, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Determine the value of EIY at mid-span of the simply supported beam as loaded as shown. Ayan. So meron tayong isang point load and isang distributed load. So, ito yung ating reaction sa A and ito yung ating reaction sa C. So, this is our load P. Hindi na siya kailangang maging P1 kasi nag-iisa lang naman siya na point load. And this is our load W para sa ating rectangular load. Ayan. So, solve natin yung ano, effects. Okay, ng ating load P in terms of um, mid-span deflection. Okay, so check natin dito. Ayan, under siya dito. Wait lang, check natin. Hmm. Okay, dito siya. Kasi greater than siya sa distance A, but less than uh, distance or less than sa ating overall span. So, kopyahin na lang natin siya rito. Ang ating equation is EIY is equivalent to... No, actually, ginamit natin ito sa ano eh. So problem number 1. Yun na lang kopyahin natin. Ayan. Okay, ito yata siya. Wait lang siya natin. Nakalimutan ko. Okay, yung PB over 6L. PB... Ah, hindi natin siya ginamit, no? Okay. Anyway, okay lang. Sige. So... DIY is equivalent to PB over 6L multiplied by L over B multiplied by X minus A cubed plus L squared minus B squared multiplied by X minus X cubed. Okay? So, ang ating EIY 1 is equivalent to P na 2 kN so convert na natin siya ng Newton so 2000 Newton multiplied by B ang kanyang uh, B is yung 4 meters and then ito yung ating A so B natin is 4 meters over 6L ang L natin ay 5 meters then multiplied by L, ang L natin is 5 meters over B na 4 meters multiplied by X. Okay? Yung X is yung distance or yung location or position kung saan natin kinukuha yung ating deflection. Eh, sabi niya rito, mid-span. Therefore, ang ating X is equivalent to 2.5. Okay? Ayan. Ito yung ating X. 2.5 meters. So, this is 2.5 minus A. Ang A natin dito is 1 meter. Then, cube. Ilan ba to? So, this is meter cube. Then, plus okay, um, L. Ang L natin dito is 5 meters. 5 meters minus B na 4 meters. Multiplied by x. Ang x natin ay 2.5. Okay, so this is ilan? meter cube then. Then, minus x na 2.5 cube. So this is also equivalent to meter cube. So sa madalang salita, ang ating uh, unit dito is meter cube. So check natin kung ano makakancel. Wala to, wala. Wala rin to, no? Ang matita dito is meter cube. Okay, so Newton, meter cube ang ating EIY. So, 2,000 multiplied by 4 over 6 times 5 multiplied by 5 over 4 multiplied by 2.5 minus 1 cube. Then, plus 5 squared minus 4 squared multiplied by 2.5 minus x na 2.5 cube. 
So, ang sagot is 2958.333. Okay, so this is Newton meter cube. Number two, para sa uniformly distributed load, okay, under tayo rito. So, E, I, Y is equivalent to W, X over 24 multiplied by L cube minus 2L X squared plus X cube. Yan. So, this is our EIY2 is equivalent to W na 1,000 kN per meter. So, convert natin ng 1,000 newton okay, per meter. So, multiplied by X. Same lang sila ng X kasi uh, isa lang naman kung sa ating kunin na, ano, na EIY at mid span. Then, over 24. Then, multiplied by L. Ang L natin is 5 cube minus 2 times uh, L na 5 multiplied by X na 2.5. Okay, so this is squared plus 2.5 cube. Yan. So, makuha natin dito na unit is meter cube. Okay, so cancel to. Then ito meter cube. So, Newton meter cube din natin, EIY2. So, 1,000 Newton multiplied by 2.5 over 24 multiplied by 5 cube minus 2 times 5 times x na 2.5 squared plus 2.5 cube. Okay, so 8138.02. Newton meter cube. So, ano ba yung effects ng ating ano, uh, load P and load W? Para silang downward. Ayan. Okay. So, makukuha na natin yung total na EIY at midspan. Is equivalent to 2958.333. So, kung magal tayo, magsasign convention tayo, pwede rin naman. So, yung ating ano, um, upward. So, yung upward lahat is positive. So, since negative silang dalawa, eh di gagawin ito silang ano, negative. Yan. So, negative 2958.333 then minus 8138.02. So, ito yung ating EIY at midspan. Negative 2958.333 minus 8138.02 The negative 11096.353 Newton meter cube And yung ano uh, Pagkuha talaga mismo ng deflection at midspan Depende kung merong given na E and I So kagaya lang din naman yun ng ating problem number 2 And Problem number one. So, madali lang yan. Diba? So, kunwari, ang given natin sa ENI is 200 gigapascal and 100 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth respectively. So, makukuha natin yung mismong value ng ating deflection. So, ang ating Y midspan is equivalent to negative 11096.353 Newton. So, convert naman natin yung ano? yung ating uh, meter cube to millimeter cube. So, that is 1,000 cube. So, this is Newton millimeter cube over okay, E. Yung ating E is gigapascal. Now, so, convert natin into megapascal. So, that is times 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter squared multiplied by I na 100 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Ayan. Cancel ang Newton. Cancel to. Cancel naman to. May matitirang millimeters. So, ito yung ano, um, value ng ating Y midspan. Okay. Answer times 10. Oh, sorry. This is 1,000 cube. Then over. 
200 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 100 times 10 raised to 6. The negative 0.555 millimeters. Then this is downward. Yan. So, pwede rin naman ipakita sa ating beam. Um, medyo mali. Kasi hindi naman alam kung saan yung maximum, no? And so, let's say ito yung maximum. Tapos, pag ganyan siya. Yan. So, ito yung ating Y max. Ah, sorry. Y mid span. So, take note, ha? Ang ating Y mid span dito sa case na to is not equivalent to our Y max. Bakit? Kasi uh, dahil sa ano, 2 kN. Yung, yung ano, 1 kN per meter, nasa gitna yung ano niya eh, maximum, di ba? Pero yung ating 2 kN, wala sa gitna. So, check nga natin. Kapag ganito kasi, kailangan malocate natin yung exactong, ano, exactong location muna nung ating maximum deflection. Pero dito kasi, ito, ayan, Yan siya. So, magkaiba kasi. Magkaiba ang position ng, ano, ng maximum deflection ng ating P and ng ating, ano, ng ating distributed load. So, I think hindi basta-basta pwedeng gamitin yung, ano. Ah, okay. So, dito namin na-realize na mayroon din talagang disadvantage ang, ano, method of superposition. Kagaya nito, sa case kasi na to, hindi natin basta-basta matutuko yung ating Ymax. Bakit? Kasi magkaiba sila ng position. Ang ating Y max sa ating uh, uh, load W okay, or sa ating load 2 is nasa gitna. Samantalang naman sa ating load P based sa ating, sa ating equation dito kailangan natin munang malocate. Ayan. So, ilan to? Um, square root of L squared. So, 5, 5 squared minus B squared. Ang B niya is Hmm. Ang B niya is 4. Diba? So, 4 squared over 3. Ayan. Nasa 1.732. No? Nasa 1.732 yung kanyang uh, maximum deflection. So, halos nandito. Ayan naman. Okay. Hindi natin sila mabag, ano, mapagtutugma. Kaya kapag ganito ang tanong, hindi mo pwede i-add yung maximum uh, deflection ng ating P and yung maximum deflection ng uh, distributed load. Kasi magkiba naman sila ng position. So, magkakamali tayo ron. So, ano kayo pwedeng gawin? Kapag ganun ang case. So, hmm. I think, hindi. Parang, yun ang limit siguro ng ano. Yun siguro ang limit ng method of superposition, no? Dapat kasi, kung mayroon tayong kukunin na isang, ano, uh, value ng deflection, dapat may parehas silang, ano, position. Okay, na pagkukunan. Base dun sa mga given na uh, formula. Dito lang kasi sila talaga magtutugma, di ba? Dun sa mid-span deflection. Ayan. Dun lang sila may parehas na ano, na position. Okay? Ayan. So, tingin ko hindi pa natin kayang isolve yun. But anyway, ang pinapasolve lang naman kasi dito, yun ang dahilan actually. Ayan, yun ang dahilan kung bakit siguro talaga mid-span deflection lang din ang pinapasolve sa ating problem number 3. Sa ating problem number 2, isang loadings lang. Ito, problem number... P1 and P2, magkaiba rin ang kanilang position, di ba? Magkaiba rin ang position ng ating, ano dito, ng ating Y max ng P1 and Y max ng P2. So, hindi natin pwedeng isolve yun. So, ano ang pinasolve ng problem? Again, ano, uh, mid-span value ng EIY or mid-span deflection lang din. Okay? So, this is our problem number 3 for method of superposition. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video tutorial, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So again, this is CEPAX Tutorial Channel. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.